the Death Adder. Super fast at striking. One of the fastest venomous snakes at a strike. It has a high venom yield of postsynaptic neurotoxin. Don't want to get bitten by this guy, but he's beautiful. Like all snakes, like all living life forms, this guy you have to respect, especially the death adder. It, you know, this guy, if you step on him with bare feet, you could end up dead. So you don't want to play with this guy, you don't want to try and hurt him. That's the big problem a lot of people, they try and hurt a snake and of course if a snake retaliates and if it's venomous like this guy is, well you're in trouble. And Way, the way this guy often kills people is that they wander around with bare feet or with their thongs on or flip-flops on, not wearing proper footwear. Now it's called the death adder, but it's not really an adder. It's uh, actually an elapid, but it looks different from all other elapids. Um, this guy looks like a viper or an adder or something like that. It's not related to those guys, only in the fact that it's a snake. It's a case of convergent evolution, where one animal looks like another animal, even though they're not related. Um, well, there's lots of cases, probably better cases of convergent evolution than this guy, but if you think about nature has a niche, if uh, there's a gap in nature, if there's something that can be exploited by an animal, an animal will do that. And there you have a death adder, which looks like an adder, even though it's an elapid. And elapid means a front fang snake. And I'll give you another really bizarre example. Think of the anglerfish that has that little dangly thing in front of his nose, these deep sea fish, and it will attract other things and it'll just go and bite it like a lure. Now the death adder looks nothing like a fish but it has got a tail, the tip of the tail, which it uses as a lure to get things in to snap and bite. And then it has to hold onto its prey and inject it with that neurotoxin so it can eat it. It also has stripes, sort of, it has stripes like a tiger snake. Um, distant related, but stripes are a form of camouflage that breaks up the long snake-like shape and the patterns on the head those patterns are wonderful um, I can hardly even see with the head you can't see where the eyes are not even quite sure where the head is you can see why people step on them now camouflage works two ways to hide completely which in the case of the head is sort of doing that but another thing it's doing in World War II they discovered that if you put shapes on the side of a battleship you can disguise the battleship so people can see it but then they're not, not sure where it is so camouflage also confuses and this is doing a great job a perfect example of fantastic camouflage I can hardly see its head at all unless you really look so you can see that would be a great advantage for this guy Just doing a little bit of shading now. Sometimes you come along to a drawing, you get to a stage where you think, oh, is it okay, is it not? Then you just chuck in a bit of shading anyway. What have you got to lose? Shade underneath there, put in some of those patterns. Just persist, because sometimes you're that close to a really good drawing. If you didn't go that little bit further, you would have missed out on doing a good drawing. There we go. It's keeping nice and still for me. Oh, it's suddenly become a nice model. He probably thinks I can't see him. He's sort of frozen, not moving, thinking that I can't see him. And I'm not stressing him out. I'm not, you know, touching him, poking him. I'm not sort of, you know, getting, well, I'm fairly close, but I'm not doing sudden movements that he can see. And so he's not too stressed. That's what you gotta do around snakes. Don't stress out yourself. Don't stress out the snake. And everything should be okay. But if you're not used to being with snakes, especially these deadly venomous ones, just 
Okay, um, just sort of keep a distance from them, eh? Just keep your distance. Don't get up close to something that you're not experienced with. If you want to do what I'm doing, just, you know, start off with lizards or, you know, non-venomous snakes or any sort of nature. Nature's wonderful. Not just, you know, these awesome, cool things that are, that are venomous. Other things are also awesome and cool if you really look at them. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Death Adder. One of my favourite Aussie snakes. He's on the move. There he goes. Well, that was a fun encounter. Goodbye. See ya. There he goes. And there's my picture of a death adder. See you next time.